in this video I'm going to just talk to you about how to solve the problem where you can't start your generator because the battery runs out of energy and there you can see there's a 12 volt uh, probably a 12 amp hour battery there and it's gone it's gone uh, flat and it's very hard to to get that thing started now now on some generators you'll find there's a manual start you pull on the uh, rope at the back here to kind of start but that also wears out the rope snaps and also it's a lot of heavy lifting especially if you're in a confined space so how do you solve this problem well the way i solved it is i installed another battery starter all right so there you're looking at an 18 amp hour battery or oh, this happens to be a 17 amp hour battery or still 12 volts um, and the capacity of this battery is much bigger but the point is not so much the capacity about uh, rather the charging now if you have a look here you will see that I've got there's a little black and red cable here and that is being uh, fed from this little charging board above here so this is a generic well it's a 12 volt uh, charger so it's giving 13 I think 13.8 volts and that comes out and constantly charges this battery so this is always on so even if you have an outage um, the battery will still be will still hold the charge for some time maybe even a few days so the point is this thing is charging the battery all the time um, and then these higher uh, uh, these thicker cables over here are the ones that go to the generator to start it now let me just show you the wiring one more time all right so AC adapter from your, your supply there we go which is usually on normally you wouldn't have this off uh, so that feeds the uh, little AC adapter here which is the input to your little charger now you don't have to do this exact charger you can use any uh, 12 volt charger I recommend a charger that can do at least one and a half amps output continuous 13.8 volts is fine to get this battery uh, charged right so then from the battery positive negative you can see I've used a thicker cable and this runs this runs to the terminals that used to be connected to the battery so these are the original battery terminals that is actually going to be connected directly to the starter motor because that's the purpose of the battery it's uh, a high current carrying uh, capability which you engage via the start switch and then the battery then is connected to the starter motor and really gives the starter motor the force to turn and here you see another little generator same issue there's the battery you can see the high tension cables well the uh, high current carrying cables the red and the black so all you're really doing is disconnecting the old battery which is not which is discharged and then you connecting your little charging circuit all right so just looking at different charging options so the point is to charge the battery continuously so an option like this is useful you can see that it says 12 volt 7 amp hour or 10 amp hour battery so this wouldn't be suitable with the very large batteries but there you can see the uh, DC charging wires and then here you would have the AC input to charge the battery. Just keep in mind that it does say output current 5 amp max. What happens if it goes above 5 amps? And that's the only challenge is uh, when you're starting that uh, uh, generator, it pulls quite a lot of current. It can pull uh, more than 5 amps especially uh, for larger generators so you've got to make sure that the power supply does not have a fuse that needs to be keep on changing it has to have an overcurrent protection all right so here is another one um here this is the 17 amp hour battery this is common in alarm setups as alarm battery backups um here this is not uh, this i wouldn't recommend because this is kind of something you'll use to charge the battery and then once it's charged take it off it's not something you're going to leave on all the time so um moving to something like this here you have a this is uh, this usually these usually do have uh, overcurrent protection it says they're current limited to two amps so even if the battery wants more the little charger won't give it so that's uh, something closer to what i'm talking about it must be current limited otherwise it'll pop every time you want to charge that generator something like this um, i don't know this exact model but ac adapters won't are not suitable so you're looking for something like that or the one i showed you in the video where it is 13.8 volts uh, at 1.5 amps no matter what you do you can short out the charging terminals um, 
You can short out the terminals. It won't destroy the power supply. And then the point is it's, it's plugged in all the time. So if the battery stays charged, well, then the charger doesn't have to work very hard. doesn't use a lot of electricity. And then when you want to crank up your generator and get started, well, it'll be using from the uh, capacity of the 17 amp hour battery. And you'll be quite surprised at how long how many cranks this uh, battery can give when as compared to the smaller ones that normally come with a generator and, and these cheaper generators often come with quite poor batteries when i say poor i mean they're not high quality they don't last very long uh they within the time or the warranty period of the bat of the generator tends to be fine but thereafter you're stuck with a battery that is not uh, good enough so you have to, and these batteries are very temperamental lead acid batteries if you don't use your generator for three months for example and that uh, lead acid battery gets uh, goes flat um, it, it actually destroys itself so these need to be charged if you let them go below below a certain voltage maybe you keep cranking the generator and not recharging the battery you'll actually destroy the lead acid battery and this is why i've opted for the solution which i've proposed all right so i've that setup i've showed you is now well over eight years old i have just changed the battery so that 17 amp hour battery has lasted about eight or nine years uh, keeping in mind that uh, south african conditions you use that generator she's sometimes five times a week but sometimes not for two months very reliable all right so i hope this sorts out your uh, starting problems thanks for watching cheers